Uh, hi, I'm Captain Mehir Bhagwati, uh, President and uh, Deputy C5 Bombay Flying Club. Uh, we're doing a pre-flight inspection for the Diamond DA42. We've done a walk around, we've gone through the checklist. I've shown you all the way how you check the Diamond DA42. Now we're in the plane, we're going to start the airplane. Before we start up, we need to check up a few things and uh, we go ahead from here on. Yeah? So um, we start before checking, make, make sure the pre-flight inspection is complete. Make sure you're carrying enough uh, fuel for the flight. Okay, the passengers are brief and instructed. They are sitting well secured with the seat belt fastened. Make sure the rear door is closed and the front, front canopy is locked. I wouldn't lock the front canopy right now because it's too hot. Okay. So now before we start, uh, we need to check our backrest. Our backrest can be adjusted. This is the right position for me. There's a lever here which can adjust the backrest. So adjust the backrest. First thing, you want to make sure that you are seating right and your seat belt is fastened. So after we fasten your seat belt, we make sure your rudder pedals are adjusted. So here's a lever to adjust your rudder pedals. So if you pull this, you can pull it towards you and you can take it all the way in the front, which this is good for me. I'm about five, seven, five, seven and a half. So this is good for me. Otherwise you can take it all the way in the front, which is too far for me to reach. So I'll put it midway somewhere here and let it go. Make sure it's locked and it's not moving any back and forth. So after you do that, you make sure your safety harness is fastened. Power lever is at idle, so we'll get it back to idle here. Leave it at idle and uh, set the parking brakes. So this is the parking brakes. We set the parking brakes over here and uh, make sure it's the, the brakes are on, okay? Uh, we need to make sure the chocks are released. Since the engine will start, you won't be able to go under the airplane to pull the chalk out. So we make, make that. After that, we uh, make sure the master is on. So we here set the master on. Make sure the avionics master is off and the water switch. Okay. These are the two water switches are on auto. Auto is in the center. One is on ACU A, B is in the ACU 2. So we put it in center. Both master switches are on auto. Alternator is on off. This is the off position. The switches, you have to pull it and then put it on and you have to put it off. So you can hear the relay putting in, putting off the master switches. Make sure the gear lever is down. So this is the gear lever. Make sure it's down. Three greens. Okay, you can see the three greens here. And alternators are on. You check the fuel pump are off. So these are the fuel pumps, electronic fuel pumps, they are off. Electrical master is on now. And we go on to the next page for our startup, which is the fuel temperature. So before we start up anything, make sure the fuel temperature is in the green, which is right here. Uh, usually in our Indian conditions, we don't have any issues with that. The fuel temperature shows green. After which we go to our starting the engine procedure. So before we start up the engine, uh, we want to make sure and clear props clear up. So props clear up. Nobody, nobody's around. We need to start and switch on the strobe lights before we start. So make so the strobe lights are on, masters are on, and we have the starter key which is already inserted in the starter key hole. And uh, this is how you start the, this thing. Make sure there are no annunciators, which will show your door open, stall warning off, and everything. So make sure your annunciators are on. Check what all is there in the annunciators. So we take care of this later. In the meantime, we'll check all the CBs are in. So we'll make sure the CBs are in. All these are your primary CBs. Uh, I have put on the transponder intentionally since we are at Bombay and we don't need a squawk on ground. After we get M on, we put it in and we get a squawk. So everything else is otherwise inside. And our circuit breakers are check all in. Okay, so we do this and before this we start the engine. Now to start the engine, I will show you the procedure. We go from right to left. So I prefer to do that and start the engine. So basically uh, we need to ensure the master switches of the left engine is on, on right switch is in on. After we put the switches are on, on we ensure there's nobody around the prop and just crank the engine, which is this way. Clear engine number one starting up. Clap up. Okay, so we have engine one operation. Now we go for the engine number two, which is on the other side. So we start the engine number two. Engine number two, clear prop. Okay, so we start the engine number two. Okay. So after this, it's really hot. I'm starting the air conditioning. Okay, air conditioning coming on low okay so we have the air conditioning on and uh, we have the avionics master which is coming on right now 
okay so even asking masters on three wins are in okay i'll check the gear fire test switch press it and it's working okay so this is working your cross feed is working now before starting the engine so we put it at the back and make sure your controls are free and correct okay uh, on this aircraft i already have my name here and my profile saved so i don't need to save anything this tone what we get is autopilot functional and autopilot working so i just save this thing and start the thing now now the oil pressure and coolant temperature is still in yellow so we need to get that in green before we start uh, our uh, uh, engine test and the ground run so we'll take a while to come in so let it let the engine run and idle till then we'll do the remaining test so we'll check the manual trim so this is the trimmer here we'll make sure the trimmer is working okay i can do a electric check electronic trimmer check with autopilot and here it works okay we'll leave it to the take off position okay now i'll check cross feed so i'll put the both the engines on cross feed and let it run for a while okay so it's on cross feed so if you want to put it off you need to put this this way and you can put it off which we don't want to right now so i'll leave it on and leave the guard switches on and leave them on so that they don't accidentally i don't put them off okay so this is what happens now i test the autopilot so to test the autopilot basically you switch on to heading mode and i will switch it on and i will try to put it on the heading mode it's in roll mode right now and i'll switch this switch here the stick will move to the left okay then i'll i'll put it it will move to the right okay now i'll try to overpower it and it works yes and i press this switch to make sure it disconnects and check the autopilot disconnects okay so autopilot is disconnecting okay left engine right engine both cross feeds are working i'll put back them in this in the main main position and leave them over here i'll make sure the both fuel pumps are working so just pump put the fuel pumps on momentarily both of them okay engine's functioning everything looks good put them off back again all right so autopilot is checked everything is checked and uh, we'll taxi out slowly and gradually before that uh, we make want to make sure the brakes are released nose wheel steering is working and the pumps are uh, in the right place fuel selector is on and uh, before we taxi that's what we need to do okay make sure the door is closed static uh, uh, stall heat warning is off pto heat warning is off we switch it, switch them on so we have no unsealed warning now the only alert warning is the transporter which we have left it off intentionally okay so before uh, we start our run up we want to make sure that our ecus are working to make sure your ecu switch you put the ecu water switch on one of the position and make sure it goes off so i'll put it on a ecu you get a jolt of the aircraft and that means the ecu was on b now we put it on num number a ecu the the first one and it works now i'll put it back you get a jolt so both the ecus are working okay ecu b and ecu a i'll do it with the other engine right now so i'll put on ecu a so ecu a was was working right now so it we didn't get a jolt i'll put it on auto and put on ecu b it will be get a jolt see that's what happens when you switch ecus okay so ecus up in position alternates are, alternators are charging uh, we'll get a fair view of the alternators the fuel tank fuel temperature coolant temperature your fuel flow and everything up here okay so we go to systems systems will show us how much it is charging so if i increase the power we'll have a little more charging and we are having alternator one which is uh, putting in 14 amperes and 20 amperes on the right hand alternator that's uh, because of the in, uh, aircraft pulling more power from uh, for the air conditioning on the left alternator so we'll leave it on idle now my stuff is coming the greens my temperature is almost coming up in the greens oil temperature oil pressure everything is coming up in the greens and we'll start up and uh, do a run up so we'll take the aircraft further our taxi are out and we already got taxi clearance to hold shot before we go to the run up area and i'll release the brakes over here and we'll take the aircraft to the holding area so two vehicles are waiting for us over there we'll give them away this is the diamond d40 over here park and we we'll go to this area here and we we'll do a quick run up okay we 
लगेंगे वो डिफरेंशियल टोनिंग ओके सो वी आर गुड हेयर नाउ आर टेम्परेचर कम इन दिस थिंग सो नाउ ऑल वी हैव टू डू इज लेट दिस गो हेयर पुट द ब्रेक्स ऑन अगेन एंड प्रेस द वोटर स्विचेज एज यू प्रेस द वोटर स्विचेज द इंजन स्टार्ट दिस शोज राइट इज यू फेल problem you will have a warning here which we haven't got okay so this is what happens and now i think we we'll go for the flight all right see you guys in the flight thank you and thanks for watching okay uh, this is the shutdown procedure of the aircraft so after you come for the flight make sure all your landing lights taxi lights position lights are on stove lights still remain on since uh, engines are running uh, make sure your avionics master is off which puts all the avionics off your lights are off you will put your air conditioning off which is right here and after the air conditioning goes off you make sure fuel pumps are off your gear is down parking brakes are set and we'll put the masters off so one master goes off we'll ensure the engine goes off okay right engine has gone off left my engine going on and the engine goes off after which we just pull out the keys and close the masters and close the stop light so that's the procedure how do you switch it off guys Thank you for watching and uh, we'll put on some new videos shortly. Thank you very much.